MICT Deputy Minister Emma Teofeles last week launched the awareness campaign on the access to information bill in Swakopmund. The launch, which was followed by a consultative meeting, was hosted in collaboration with Internet Society Namibia Chapter, UNESCO, and also included the law reform, the regional leadership, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Education, as well as other stakeholders. Access to information continues to be an enabler for citizens to be able to gain opportunities to change their lives forever. The Access to Information Bill that the Ministry has been drafting and is long awaited is finally making progress in Parliament in this session is aimed at ensuring that citizens have access to information from public institutions as well as private institutions especially when it comes to the economic activities. Moreover, the Access to Information Bill gives provision for the establishment of the Information Commissioner and his or her deputy. This will allow the Commissioner to ensure that public institutions are able to efficiently and effectively communicate information to the citizenry so to be able to make this shift about the human rights, political rights, and any other rights related to the economy and participation. Needless to say, access to information becomes a very important issue to ensure that citizens are able to make their own decisions. And that is why my ministry has given notice to table access to information during this session, and we remain resolute that the bill should be passed in due time to allow access for information for all citizens. Secondly, honorable councillors, the reason why the team is also to talk about the COVID-19 pandemic and the uptake of vaccines in our country. As of today, the average uptake of vaccines in our country stands at 3,500 per day. That is nowhere close to the 10,000 uptake vaccines we need to ensure we reach herd immunity by March 2022. I do know that you, as a region, you are working tirelessly with different stakeholders, including the fish industry, to encourage Namibians to increase their uptake for the vaccine. First of all is to create awareness on the right to access information and on the existing access to information bill among the governors, the government officials, um, local authorities, churches, um, civil society organizations and community members just enhance the awareness among the public in general. But also this platform, the meeting we're having now, is to provide a platform for everybody to provide your inputs and feedback on the current draft ACI bill. So that the Ministry of ICT, with the support of Law Reform and Internet Society in the Media Chapter, can compile a recommendation report um, on the current bill to be submitted to the Parliament. This is the purpose of our today's meeting and also the pop-up event um, followed by this um, meeting. And in addition, um, this is another activity to be conducted within the framework is um, readiness assessment of the ATAR bill. So the Ministry of ICT will identify five public institutions to conduct the readiness assessment as a pilot exercise to see how the government, um, how government, how ready and how prepared is the government to implement access to information if the law is in place. So we will recruit a consultant to, um, to do the, the assessment um, with the identified five public institutions um, to see how do they proactively disclose information. Is there any in-house rules or in-house procedures to deal with information requests from the citizens, from the journalists, from the civil societies, etc., etc. So this is, the, this is um, another component of the whole um, ATI kind of assessment um, project. Access to information is of growing international and continental and regional concern. It is a topic of which African states and increasingly undertaking legislative reforms with an understanding that freedom of expression is a fundamental human right 
guaranteed by, among others, the African Charter of Human Rights, of Human and People's Rights, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, the International Covenant on, uh, on Civil and Political Rights. Those are the instruments internationally that we are signatory to. In, in essence, here what we are, what, what we have been, what this uh, is trying to tell us is, you know, we have fundamental human rights guaranteed by these international instruments that we are signatory to. Among others, the African Charter for Women and People's Rights, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, the International Government on Civil and uh, Political Rights. So we did not wake up and say, let's have access to information. We were obligated to do that by these instruments that we are signatory to. So the, the need came from there for us to came up with this uh, legislation, very important legislation, for us to live up to these international and regional obligations. When it comes to the objective of the bill, the bill aims to promote transparency, accountability and effective governance of all public and private bodies. It, it applies to public and private bodies. Uh, the empowerment and education of public so as to understand their right to access to information, we have to create awareness. I think this was the first step of awareness creation. Understand the functions and operations of public bodies. What is required of us as public bodies? Effective you scrutinize and participate in the decision-making process. We can participate in this, uh, in this decision-making process if we have sufficient information. There are some critical information that, that are exempted from disclosure. Security information, we don't want people to compromise our security and so on. So some information are exempt from disclosure, like sovereignty and integrity of Namibia, prevention by, prevented by courts, any information that is prevented by courts for disclosure, a breach of privilege of parliament, trade secrets, intellectual property, all those information are exempted from disclosure. Uh, fiduciary relationship, information received from foreign government, life and physical safety of any person, issues under investigation, cabinet papers and uh, invasion in privacy. All those information are uh, exempted from disclosure. My question here is the head of the public entity. Are we talking about the political head or the administrative head? <laughs> Okay, so the executive director, not the minister of that head. Okay, so then the executive director is going to provide information on all his divisions, under all his divisions and directorates, yes? Are they going to be clustered? The MICD also held a pop-up information sharing session in Swagmoon's Mandesa area where the public was informed on their right to access to information. 